that is. The next uh, video I would like to present to the viewing audience, I would call it a series. I'm going to try to break down an important aspect of my therapy that I utilize for herpes simplex 1 and herpes simplex 2. I think this is important because I'm going to share with you a little of the background on how did I see the light to create my protocol. So I'm going to take three separate articles and I think we're going to do this in three different parts. So this would be part one. What I did is I started looking at some of the literature because one of my patients approached me and the patient knew I was an expert in ozone and the patient had a genital herpes. So the patient asked me, Doc, do you think you could put together, put together a protocol that could help eradicate my herpes because I've been reading about the power of ozone. And I said, you know what, I've been reading about that too. So I dug hard into the literature. I want to clear up some confusion by actually using papers. This first one is on subcutaneous ozone therapy in treatment of herpes simplex. It comes from authors named Delgado Wong and it's from the Medical and Surgical Research Center in Cuba. One thing I find very interesting looking at the uh, the keyboard warriors or internet trolls, they'll, they'll say, well, I haven't seen any data from the United States, so I don't know what to think. <clears throat> okay, well, you're getting some data from the United States right here. I'm a person who was trained in urologic surgery, board certified, so I've been you know, handling this from a scientific perspective for almost 20 years now, dealing with this disease process, and obviously, I've evolved, and the literature coming out of other countries, when it's vetted by a professional, a medical doctor such as myself, you can consider that just as honest as anything being put out in the current day mass media, which you never know is true, even in the United States. Wrong. So this case was herpes simplex study, 84 patients. Actually, I read the whole study. The patients had treatment with subcutaneous ozone. The reason I think this is important for this video and what I do clinically is in my patients, at my discretion, I use subcutaneous injections to eradicate the virus from the ganglia and directly from different aspects of the skin. Um, this can be in the general area, the lips, the gluteal area, and that's what was in this article. And to quote the article, the treatment with subcutaneous ozone was seen to be very effective and has avoided relapses. The antiviral effect of ozone by subcutaneous delivery has not been previously reported upon for this disease. Well, the nice thing is it's legit, it's part of our protocol, and if you want more information on herpes or any other aspects of therapy, contact our office directly. Thank you.